so, fellas, in boxing news, uh, the week of, uh, what's the date today? I think it's like the uh, 25th or something like that. Anyways, uh, um, I heard some, some interesting news today. I, I, I saw that uh, uh, Buddy McGirt is going to train uh, Kendall Holt. Um, I like the sound of that because uh, I always liked what McGirt did for Arturo and um, he, he definitely gave Arturo some movement, some defensive movement and uh, taught him a little bit of that, encouraged a little bit of that and uh, I think that's exactly what Kendall Holt needs. Um, he's a power puncher and um, like Arturo was and uh, uh, he but where his, his trouble lies is when he fights someone that's very very aggressive and aggressive to the body that has the potential to hurt him he just sort of he gets stuck and he doesn't know how to get out of it um, and sometimes punching your way out of it doesn't you know, it leaves you open and it's just not a good thing. And I, I remember after um, Buddy, when, when Arturo was fighting like uh, Gianluca Bronco and, um, and uh, a couple of the guys around that time, he had some great movement. I mean, he would get out, he would get out from, uh, from being up against the ropes and, uh, you know, he would spin his opponent, opponents around and stuff legally, I mean, but, you know, he would, he would, he would, he um, would, reverse his angle he would create better angles and uh, if Holt can if Holt can learn some of that same stuff um, I think that would benefit him greatly um, and it's interesting how uh, buddy always finds these guys you know or they find him uh, a little bit later in their career you know uh, Arturo Arturo was a little you know I think he was around the same age maybe around 30 maybe a little younger but um, but uh, that that's good to hear because I, I like him and I, I think uh, at the very least we'll have some entertaining fights from him uh, by the time he's done with his career um, this upcoming fight I you know I I guess it's probably smart to have another good tune-up fight for him he's only really one good strong fight back and uh, for him to jump in there with Matisse like they were talking about I'm not saying he couldn't win, but he would definitely have his hands full with a fight like that. And I, I think, you know, the, the slower route is better. Um, and that's what he's going to do. So, you know, I, I think that's good. Um, I had somebody, uh, somebody ask me what do I think about Pac-Man and, um, and uh, Marquez. Um, I really, you know, I... What I think is, is from the, the way it's, it's been illustrated on the internet by many different people. Well, I don't know about many people, but there have been a few videos that have clearly illustrated the ways in which Marquez was effective against Pacquiao in their first two fights. The way that he kind of he kind of takes a step back, makes Pacquiao lunge in. And then after Pacquiao lunges in, he leaves himself open and um, Marquez counters, you know, real effectively. Question is, does he possess the ability now to do that enough consistently? And um, where, whereas I think that was the problem, even, even though arguably um, in, in some of those fights, he won on points. I mean, there's even more reason now uh, to believe that um, if the fight is close, they're going to give it to Pacquiao again. I mean, that's certainly not going to change with a potential Mayweather fight in the wings. I mean, now more than ever, uh, they're going to lean towards him. Uh, so I don't really think Marquez is capable of doing anything more than he's already done. And given that, I don't think Pacquiao's fallen off. Um, too much since then um, and uh, so I expect pretty much a similar outcome 
or if Marquez has fallen off, then you know I expect Pacquiao to win the fight. Um, but uh, it will be interesting. It will be interesting to see if Marquez can still execute that same sort of game plan because I I think that it will still be effective against Pacquiao. I don't I don't really think Pacquiao has really learned too much. Uh, He's, he's advanced a little bit, but by and large, he's still pretty much the same fighter. And uh, if I understand, they're fighting at a, a weight, a heavier weight um, than they fought their original fights at. And uh, at least according to what we saw with Mayweather against Marquez, which I understand is not the same fight as Pac-Man and Marquez, but I think the extra weight doesn't do Mar Marquez any favors. Um, so that may play a role and may allow for Pacquiao to be more effective and, and gain a more convincing win. But um, I have a hard time seeing uh, Marquez win this one because even if it's close, they're definitely going to give it to Pacquiao.